in here. It looks like a machine. It grabbed a hole in the wall. And I was marching with these kind of crab legs. You must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. No, I have my suspicions. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. Exactly. Makes no sense from a strategic point of view. I think they're looking for something here. I would be so sure. If the Alliance had been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone anti-man to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. something <laughs> as if oh, I, I don't know I don't know I saw the readings they were distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement currently it does not respond to commands oh, crap <laughs> oh the hatch fell down probably from the registry can you get a record let's see I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> you guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a field base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. me. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. Probe. It... it distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its call. <sighs> you could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Okay. Hit call down. Are you talking about the probe call? <sighs> Well, they say in order to win over a person, 
You have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, not good. Simply go get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. You don't have to finish. I understand. You did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. He didn't die due to lack of oxygen. He bled out, likely from the fall. Enough! I've heard enough. By the way, how long have we been out? Oh, damn it! The storm's getting worse. It's the longest 20 minutes of my life. It'll take. <sighs> For me, it, it felt like eternity. I was beginning to hallucinate from the stress. Started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge it to the ground. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. The crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberphysicist, a doctor, an engineer, and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation, and we crashed the rocket. There, we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand, a true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrified were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit.
Damn it! I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bigger. Emmett's so equipped with the black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, I must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. You will have cable access. Look for something resembling a socket. That plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And uh, press down. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box shouldn't really fit. Uh, same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can find the rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. On the other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. I suggest you lie down. Can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... The 
next is... I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator? The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly? Over? Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Checks on Koval, by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. said it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Archie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir. I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago. And that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Archie with other tasks. of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life. I totally understand. I can't wait a few more hours. I still need your support, sir. And I still want to be here to help you. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. You're a 
approaching their coordinates. Yes, no. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say it won't change your mind. But please be careful. First, observe them from a distance. And only then take action. I will be cautious. Like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's comforting in its own way that even in an act of insubordination you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend, or under a ledge. Telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. I've set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. The base is in front of me. Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. I wonder how... <sighs> but have it your way, sir. Remotely, Yasna. Remotely. I understand the urgency. It's a field base. Multi-module. For about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Huh. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew. Transport modules are an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's 15, 20 meters high. It has an upright silhouette. And it looks like a, a balloon. Uh, it could be a balloon. And that doesn't surprise you? Not everything that flies needs jet engines. What markings does it have? RB1. What does it mean? It's an ID number. Denotes an advanced scout balloon. How far from you is it? Around 400. Not as far as I would like it to be. It might have you within camera range. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it'd be better if that didn't happen. But I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness... Astrogator, I believe in the face of a common threat. We'll find a common language, and we can simply cooperate. Pushing political animosities aside, 
I hope you're right, Doctor. But even if we disregard decades of mutual enmity, we must keep in mind human nature. Homo homini lupus. Just because you want to talk to them doesn't mean they'll listen. I'd rather expect they'll be asking the questions and you'll be answering them. Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. Tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir. Access to the base is protected by a force field. If these are Dirac committers, and I'm sure they are, nothing will get through. Is there an opening from the other side? I'll see. There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Don't get out yet. I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. going in. Clear. For now. I can't hear anyone either.
Moving on. It's still quiet. It's eerie. I'm at the central module. In the headquarters. You walked in? Just like that? Yeah. The doors were open. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There wasn't much of it. Single record. Poor guy. He's dead. I waited help for over a day. Critically low blood saturation. He died of hypoxia. At the time of his death, he was... Biasna, is it necessary? This information will no longer so help anyone. So I know anyone. the city. One, eight, five, six, one... Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. I'm sorry. You... You lied to me. You lied how he died. I knew you would blame yourself. Well, of course I do! I could have saved him. Left him that fucking tank. Why didn't you let me? I made the right decision, Yasna. Given the circumstances and our knowledge at the time, there was a high risk your sacrifice would kill you both. I know that. I know. I'm sorry. You have every right to be angry. Yeah, maybe. But I don't see the point. It won't bring Gorski back to life. Will it? I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including date. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Oh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Uh, quite late. Guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found, oh, you won't guess, metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator, they must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh! To the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. They, they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Astrogator, this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing they would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here.
force fills down, I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Now we're lucky. Clouds are low. Fortunately, the ship's not here. Either there, or... Are you still looking? Mm -hmm. Not here either. Ah, bingo. Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. still here if you're wondering sir it all just takes longer than expected i know the situation no need to explain yourself doctor we're in this together i'm leaving the base going after the convoy flying saucer. It landed near the excavation site. Don't risk trying to fly it, Yasna. Nothing guarantees it works. I didn't even... Uh, contrary to what you believe, sir, I don't have a death wish.
status? Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Understood. I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. In my opinion, it's a bit excessive. Huh. Well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one, similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. Two modules were placed nearby. The first one looks residential. laboratory they excavated a lot of different objects in terms of shape and size I tried to arrange them somehow to classify them were they successful it looks promising if they had spent a little more time they would surely have come up with something and yet they gave up all efforts Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. Nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you.
Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. to stop. <sighs> the road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. But they're not in the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. Uh, actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation, of other people. Just watch yourself. Seeing people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only chance. And not only mine. You have other subordinates who need help. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor. However, you must keep in mind that alive and mentally sound members of the Alliance are still a threat. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh? So you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they. Is it active? Dead, fortunately. Uh, I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no. 
Traitor. They're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed him? Just what the hell? Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. with the giant cranes right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level they're here sending a probe oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter how oh, subtle Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether we should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. I'm grateful for that. The situation is far from safe, true. But I've got to do what I've got to do. Whether I'm scared or not. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat, that's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them, one by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If 
Agony machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yasna? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. You, sir, the audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan coming at me. I got out. Well, inside a cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right. Can you tell me what's in there? It seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Bushes are, let's put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah. 
that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. So similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? All you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. <laughs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. successful mission. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimatter? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. 
<clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Oh, it's cooled down. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Actually, it's right in front of me. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. That is my... Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading, preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. 
The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. <clears throat> now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir? Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, 
transform bushes absorb raw material and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source and so on and so forth and i can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being i've ever heard of with all the skepticism that comes with it the second transporter is under a force field it's hovering above the ground so it is operational probably also in better shape than the other one uh, it certainly looks better the cargo may be intact then there are powerful emitters in the center similar to those on energobots emitters only do they look like they're buried in the ground yeah then you're looking at the top of the energobot well, look carefully energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface ah got it the force field melted adjacent rocks they had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Yes, yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by Come pure me. luck. Yeah, luck, little... indeed. Probie? Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you, too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Just a 
as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here is dead. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first... I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black holes up in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself.
to know what might kill us. We're getting killed anyway. By people. Antimatic hammers. Tosh. Quad wiped out. I, I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. <sighs> I'll ask you how many times already. <sighs> uh, the fourth time, if I counter correctly. But I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or oh, you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it? Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker... No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor... I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Quite all right. I had you worrying again, didn't I? Well, please don't mind me. I won't turn grey a second time in my life. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It's true, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes.
This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. I'm getting close to this. Nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like, like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. Captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. 
I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait! You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it! I told you! That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Charging by the last slide. The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Still the certain connection in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. Then why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or to worry even more. near the base, within range of the control center. Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. The probe is no longer flying. Which probe? The first one. The one that patrolled the base. You didn't mention it, Doctor. So the probe landed... Or someone brought it down. The recorder's been emptied. There's no data. It's completely clean. Should have checked it right away. Now we'll never know what it recorded. Yeah. I'm fully aware. But it doesn't matter anymore. Because you want to talk to the Alliance, don't you? They're the best source of information, Astrogator. I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them.
One step at a time, Yasna. One step at a time. without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route? <sighs> Yasna! Hello, I'm, I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. That view... It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. Oh, shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yasna, what is it? Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me.